Hi. Today we have a very special uh, thing we're doing here. It's going to be an unboxing of some of the comic books that we sent to get graded. So we have a collection of comic books, which is uh, from a dear friend of mine that, that uh, passed on to Valhalla over 10 years ago. And uh, so as you saw in some of the last videos, we're surrounded by comic books. There's going to be about four to 5,000 of them. And uh, out of those, we had to decide which things are going to be graded. So you have to be very careful when doing that because it does cost a certain amount of money. We have to make sure that it's going to be worthwhile. We've done it before with baseball cards and sometimes the cards came back lower in grade than they thought. Uh, this is the first time we've been grading any comic books. So the interesting part is, is all these comic books are key issues. Uh, out of those that I sent, uh, we have Amazing Spider-Man number 129, which is the first appearance of the Punisher. That's from the 70s. Uh, we have uh, Werewolf by Night number 32 which is the first appearance of Moon Knight, which is really cool because uh, the series just happened. We also have um, one of the newer ones that we have is Amazing Spider-Man number 300, which is the first full appearance of Venom. Of course, we have uh, before that, maybe Secret Wars number eight, we have the cover where we have Spider-Man in the symbiote suit, but it's not Venom yet, it's, it's just uh, his suit. So we have two copies of that. Then we also have Giant Size X-Men number one, which is the first appearance of the new team, Colossus, Nightcrawler, Warpath, um, the, the second appearance um, in a comic of Wolverine. Then we also have Tomb of Dracula, number 10, I believe it is, and that is the first appearance of Blade, which is also the movies coming out and all the horror kind of stuff that Marvel's doing now. The piece de resistance is we have Incredible Hulk 180 and 181, so Hulk 180 in the last box is the first real appearance of Wolverine, and then uh, in Hulk 181, we have that iconic cover with Wolverine fighting with the Hulk in the Wendigo. So that is obviously, uh, that's, I think, I believe that's the most expensive uh, Bronze Age comic that there is from the 70s is, is uh, uh, Hulk 181. So we sent away, they sent back the box. I have not opened the box and I have not checked on the uh, CGC. They, they tell you once they shipped, and I was like, I'm not gonna do this because I wanted the real reaction. So this is the first time I've ever shipped anything uh, with them. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Here's the box, and uh, let's open this up together. This is pretty exciting. I'm curious to see how, they, uh, how they've wrapped everything. Even though it is in a plastic case here. Uh, all right, cardboard. This is the packing slip. I'm not gonna look at this just in case it has the grades on it. So we'll just throw that over there. Get some bubble wrap out. So the cool thing about having this stuff graded, you know, with like a vase, when we're looking at a vase, we have to say there's blemishes, there's this, and it's very subjective, the condition of it. Uh, as far as grading stuff, these the companies like PSA and CGA, uh, CGC, excuse me, uh, they're making an industry standard. So you can just look up how much is this in this grade in a 9.1 and 9.2? How many have sold at, at, at these prices? We can look these up, it's very easy to do. Here we go, the first one we're pulling. Amazing Spider-Man number 300, and we have that in 8.5 grade. So uh, that's pretty good. It's, a, it's a, what year is this? This is 1988. So even though we are still talking like 25 years ago almost, in this time in the 80s, they were producing so many comic books that really it has to be in a pretty high grade to be valuable. So this is a little disappointing that it's not a nine or above. As you can see, uh, it also uh, here, you know, it's gonna explain why it's a key issue. Uh, and it tells the artist and the, uh, the writer also uh, here. So, uh, and of course, it's this Todd McFarlane it makes it even, you know, cooler. Uh, the Spawn, Spawn creator, his uh, Spider-Man run is great as well as, you know, all this, his Batman run and stuff. So, there we go. We have Spider-Man number 300. We have another Spider-Man 300. This one's at 9.0, which is a little, a little better, not as high as, as I would like it, but um, it's still, this is, again is going to be in, in, I hope, in the high hundreds, uh, but when we get the, um, when we get the uh, auction up, you guys will be able to take a look at that. Very cool, very, and again, an iconic cover. All right, let's see what we got next. Amazing Spider-Man number 129. It's only a 5.5. I knew this was gonna be lower uh, just because, um, you know, there was some uh, spotting and there was some blemishes and everything, so I knew it was gonna be older. Still, it's, it's really nice to get, you know, a key issue like this 
graded, I believe this is in 1974, uh, good year, year I was born. Uh, so uh, that's cool, having the first Punisher. And uh, it's cool seeing the back of the stuff. So like Evil Knievel was a really cool, hot thing in the 70s. And uh, also that's cool to see with the newer stuff from the 80s, it's all, uh, you know, TSR, which was um, the predecessor uh, two Wizards of the Coast owning the Dungeons and Dragons property, uh, and and that's going to get that's also in this auction. There's tons of role playing stuff, so that's going to be pretty cool. And you'll see all the Marvel from the '80s is going to have all TSR stuff on it. So we got next, aha, Werewolf by Night number thirty-two. We have a 7.0, uh, 1975. That's awesome. We got uh, uh, Moon Knight on the cover there for his first appearance. Uh, but then later on, of course, you know, uh, Werewolf by Night isn't, isn't a villain, he's actually a hero, and the, the two of them kind of uh, get together and be, become uh, buddies, uh, fighting evil. Just having everything in this, it just clamshelled like this, I mean, even if you have something in a bag with a backing board, it just doesn't look cool. The only thing is, is that you can't really flip through it and, and look at it anymore, which is like, there's reprints of all this stuff that you can find uh, to go through. So if it's this expensive, you might as well just keep it in there and, and flip through either a reprint or, or, or see something else if you want to read the story. Before we're halfway done. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Tomb of Dracula, number 10. First appearance of Blade. Uh, we have an 8-0 off-white to white pages, which is pretty cool. Blade kind of having like a, a 70s thing going with the way he's dressed as opposed to our, uh, uh, as what we've seen in the movies, all in leather uh, and everything like that. So uh, that's pretty cool. Ah, here we go. I'm a big, I'm a big X-Men guy. That's, that's, that's you know, what I, what I collected when I was younger. I tried to get the whole run uh, starting from this, but of course when you're younger you can't, you know. But uh, here we go, Giant Size X-Men number one at a, a 7-0. Real excited for the X-Men to come into the Marvel Universe. And we see Wolverine here still has his yellow costume, which I know in one of the movies I kind of uh, joked about. He was worrying about the leather costume he was wearing, and they're like, what do you want, a, a yellow and black one? Uh, so that's pretty cool. Giant size X-Men number one at a 7-0. Two more. All right, here we go. This is the, okay. 8-5. All right, that's pretty good for this, 1974. So this is this is really Wolverine's first appearance in a comic book. The last page, the last box, you see him, you know, uh, jumping up uh, with uh, the Hulk and Wendigo and Wolverine jumping in. That's pretty cool. So this is, uh, I really don't know the value of the of, of the 180 in this in this grade, but I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be uh, over a thousand. Uh, but again, uh, we'll... Uh, We'll bring it to you once we have the auction up and together. All right, here we go. It's been so hard for me not to not to open this, not to look uh, to see what this is going to be. So this is going to be Hulk 181, first full appearance of Wolverine uh, in comic books. So, ha ha, nine up. Okay, that's pretty fantastic. That this is one of the oldest uh, comics. Uh, that we sent and it's a 9-0. Uh, you can see Wolverine on the cover there uh, with his, uh, with his uh, little yellow and black suit uh, fighting the Hulk and Wendigo. Uh, somewhere in this comic they kind of like team up against, uh, against Wendigo and Wolverine just bounces off out of the way in the end. At a 9-0, I think this comic at a 9-0 is in the high, approaching the $10,000 mark. Uh, probably about seven to eight thousand dollars, something around there, uh, depending. But again, this comic, once we go over nine, once we get up to like nine six, nine eight, and stuff like that, we're in the tens of thousands of dollars uh, for the book. I don't know what the um, what the record is on it, but I'm I'm this is this is uh, this is great. This is great that it's a nine zero, and it's really cool looking. Look at this, ah, so great. So this is this is really cool. Really excited. I can't wait to, to catalog these things. Very excited to get this stuff uh, all done. And uh, this is really, really cool. I'm really excited about this. Thank you. And, uh, you know, uh, keep a lookout for future videos.